Good day. Welcome to De La Cruz Engineering video tutorial. And sa video na ito, magsasolve naman tayo ng HGE passport. So this problem was on May 2015, the CE board May 2015. Okay, so this is the problem here. So without further ado, let's start to solve. A ship having a displacement of 24,000 metric tons at the drop of 10.4 meters in ocean which has specific gravity of 1.03 enters a harbor of fresh water which is the specific gravity is 1.0 so the horizontal section of the ship at the waterline is 3000 square meters what depth of fresh water is required to float the ship okay so do you understand the problem? So okay, so let's interpret this step by step. Okay, we have a ship having a displacement of twenty four thousand metric tons. So basically, this is just the weight of the ship. Okay, and a draft of ten point four in oceans, which has specific gravity of one point zero three. Okay, so let's pause here. So, we have an ocean water that is 1.03 yung specific gravity natin. Then, um, nag-float yung ship dito. Let's say this is the ship. And the weight of the ship here is 24,000 uh, metric tons. And the draft of of 10.4 meters in ocean dito. Ano yung draft dito? So, this is its draft. 10.4 from the water line to the bottom of the ship. Okay, so... It will enter a harbor of fresh water, which has specific gravity. Of course, that is 1.0 lang. Okay, so look at this. Oh, by the way, the weight has the, I mean the ship has the weight, which is 24,000 metric tons. Okay, of course that is weight. Now to, in order to float to float this um, ship here, iko kontra yan ng buoyant force. Okay, that is the buoyancy, that is upward force. So, that will be in equilibrium. Kaya nag-float yung ship natin. And the buoyant force, uh, basically that is just the gamma of the liquid, which is saan nag-submerge yung object, times the volume of this place. So, let's call this FB1, buoyant force 1, which is the gamma of the ocean, gamma of the ocean, seawater. Uh, let's say that is seawater times tawag natin v1 v1 here is itong nag displace dito or na submerge sa liquid okay it enters a harbor of fresh water okay look at this let's say this is the fresh water which has specific gravity of 1.0 okay so um, dadaan yan dyan okay so look what will happen of course at the at the specific at i mean at the um, fresh water, yung specific gravity natin is 1.0. Therefore, the buoyant force here uh, will be lesser compared to the ocean because that is um, directly proportional to SG. Diba? The gamma of the liquid is SG times the gamma of water. Okay, so meaning if mas maliit yung buoyant force natin dito, um, mas magkakaroon ng settlement. Mas bababa yung ating ship dyan. Okay, so the weight here is constant, hindi magbabago yung weight ng ating ship, but the buoyant force yung magbabago. And let's call this FB2, so gamma of the water times the V2. So V2 dito is the displaced or the submerged portion of the ship dito sa fresh water. Okay, so the question here, and by the way, the uh, area at the water line is 3000 square meter. Okay, the question is what depth of fresh water is required to float the ship? So, ang hinahanap dito is this one. The depth of the fresh water dito. Okay, to float the ship. What is, let's call that H, capital H. Okay. So, ano yung maiisip nyo solution dito? Pwede ba natin equate diretso ito? The W is equal to the buoyant force, gamma of water times the V2? Hindi. Because take note that this is not a rectangular cross-section. 
a shape um, don't have a rectangular cross, cross section so hindi natin masasob yung h dito just saying that the v2 here is area times h hindi hindi siya katulad niyan buti sana kung scout or rectangular scout masolve natin diretso so how will we solve this okay by the way the itong i mean the horizontal section of the shape at the waterline is 3000 square meters so this is the horizontal portion na kung saan dito yung waterline natin so yun so this is the area of the ship let's say ganito yung cross sectional area ng ship okay at the cross section diyan so hindi pa um hindi naman magma matter if ano yung itsura ng ating cross section because the area alone is given okay so look at this no this h no um that will be a settled at a distance delta h bababa yung ang um, ship natin dito at a certain distance delta h let's call that delta h okay ito yung settlement niya after siya nag um nag travel sa um fresh water okay so if we want to calculate this the depth of h here uh, we need to calculate this delta h because this um depth of water here is just 10.4 10 plus the delta h okay so how will we calculate this Okay, analyze this. Ha? If nagbaba, if nagsettle yung ship natin dito, dito sa ibaba ng delta H, meaning dito rin sa itaas, magsettle din yan ng delta H. Okay, so that is also delta H. Okay, so imagine this. No? This portion here is ilalabas natin. So ito yung portion na yan, which is ito yung cross-sectional area. Ayun. Okay, and this height here is the delta H. Ayun. So, at this portion kasi, mane-neglect mane natin yung change of area nito. Kasi, um, relatively maliit yung H natin sa total volume natin. Okay, kaya that is considered as constant lang. Okay, so, basically, this is just the change in volume. And this change of volume is equals to the V2 minus the V1. Okay. So, we can calculate that V2 minus V1 equals change in volume. Okay, the, and there we can solve the delta H. So, unahin natin yung weight muna. 24,000 tons times 1,000. Gawin natin kilograms. Okay, so, calculate the volume V1. V1 is ito. Uh, equate weight and the FV1. So, FV1 is gamma of the seawater times 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, the density is V1. And V1 here is, ayan, 23,300.97 cubic meters. Okay, so V2 naman, we will calculate the V2. And that is just by equating these forces. And that will be 24,000 cubic meters. Now we can equate the change in volume. The change in volume is just V2, this portion here, here, minus the V1. And V2 here is just equal to the cross-sectional area times the change in height. Ayun, 3,000 times yan. Substitute lang. And here, we can solve the delta H. That is 0.233 meters. Now, the answer here, H, is just 10.4 plus delta H. And that will be our answer. Okay, so actually, ito is probable talagang ibabalik ng examiner. Okay, um, in, in my experience, mara uh, ilang uli ito binabalik-balik sa exams namin in review center. So, baka ibabalik rin to in a twist, my twist lang, konti. Okay, so I uh, hope you learned something from this. And... Siya nga pala, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to my channel and also like my video and share then for more passport series. Okay, once again, thank you and God bless.